Hi everyone, it's Mireille again and today we are going to talk about the IELTS Award application. First of all, I'm going to give you some tips to fill in the IELTS application form. First of all, the IELTS is looking for someone that goes beyond the academics, they want something proactive. So they are interested in what you do in your free time, what you do in your daily life. Therefore, I would recommend that you mention everything you do apart from your academics, but also be honest with what you say. The second tip concerns the personal statement. The personal statement is the most important part of the application, so make sure that you devote some time to write it properly and revise it before submitting the form. Make sure that you know confidently the details about your project, your motivation to do it, and how it can contribute to society and present this in a way that is comprehensive for both experts and non-experts. The last tip is how to show that you are a good fit for the role of the ambassador. My personal advice is that you provide evidence of your profile as a dynamic and creative person. This could be through examples of projects you've done in the past, any particular personality feature you have, or any ideas that you would like to apply in the future, especially if they can be applied to the role of the IELTS ambassador. Now imagine that you've been selected and invited to an interview. How to prepare for it? The interview consists of three parts. For the first one, you have the opportunity to introduce yourself and your project to the panel. As with the personal statement, my main advice is that you know beforehand all the details about your project, how it relates to you personally and academically, why you are the best candidate to perform this project. The second part of the interview involves questions from the panel. This one is the one that worries people the most, but as long as you know all the details about your project, as I've mentioned before, they shouldn't be a problem. Also, they don't want to trick you, they are not gonna ask you questions to catch you. They genuinely want to know more about you and about your project, so be clear and informative in your answers. And last but not least, the presentation. They will give you the topics in advance so you can choose and practice it before the interview. This is a great opportunity to demonstrate how you would perform as an ambassador as well as to show different skills such as critical skills, presentation skills, creative skills. And my personal advice is that you try to find the balance between giving a professional and critical presentation while also being engaging, dynamic and creative. I hope all this was useful. Lots of luck with your application, lots of luck if you haven't taken the IELTS test yet, and bye!